Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Flor from the cloud team at Canonical. In this video I wanted to show you how easy it is to create and maintain updated your own AMI out of Ubuntu Pro using EC2 Image Builder. And for making it more interesting, I'm going to create a CIS hardened Ubuntu Pro image. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to click here on create image pipeline. This pipeline is going to be called uh, my Ubuntu CIS hard image. Ubuntu Pro 2004 comes with a tool called USG, which is our Ubuntu security guide, which is a, a very interesting tool that automates everything for hardening your servers against specific industry standards. We have for the moment DisaStick and CIS level one and level two. Okay, so we are going to use level one I'm going to take notes here, level one, CIS, hardening. And it's level one server, because there is another profile for workstations too. Here you can select uh, if you, whether you want to, to schedule a build. You could have a daily build, you could have a weekly build, whatever you need. It depends on your security concerns, uh, obviously. And I'm gonna click here on manual, because this is just for the, the demonstration, okay? So, what is a recipe? An image pipeline is uh, like a workflow that runs different recipes for uh, building your, your images. And I'm going to create a new recipe, which is for creating an AMI. I'm gonna call it Ubuntu CAS Hardening version 1.0.0. If you see here, the, the standard images for Ubuntu are the free versions and we are going to use a custom ID, okay? The way to get your AMI ID uh, is um, through the EC2 console or calling it directly using AWS CLI, which is my preferred choice because I, it's just a copy-paste of one command. And every AMI ID is different for each region, right? So just don't forget that. All right, so I'm switching to my terminal window here. I'm pasting in a command that I have for calling uh, AWS CLI, EC2 service, describe images. I'm just telling telling it um, which format, which region, US East 1, the same as North Virginia. And then as values, I'm putting Ubuntu Pro Server. This is the naming convention that we have at Canonical. And it's Ubuntu Jammy, which is something that I have to change because we, are, we say that we were going to do it with 2004, which is focal. Okay, and this is for AMD, you can do it also on ARM if you want to change it. And let's see what we get. All right, so we have here this AMI ID. I'm gonna copy that, paste it in here. All right, if you see the AMI is being read correctly, I have everything here. And um, rest of the instance configuration, uh, it tells me if I want to remove the SSM agent after the execution. No, because SSM agent uh, is good to have it there for managing the server once you launch them. And as user data, I'm going to paste an elegant way to pull an update and an upgrade. I'm using cloud init here. Um, so I'm just updating the repositories and upgrading everything that is needed because it's always a good practice to start fresh with a, a server with everything up to date. And now this is the, the important part because here is where you run all the scripts and configuration that you need for customizing your image. For example, if you are building a, an AMI uh, with specific software for your company or with your own application packaged and built into the machine. So this is where you do it. This, this works like, like entering commands in, into the console, with, but in a specific format, either YAML or, or JSON. Okay, so every component is is an action that you will run on your, your machine. So I'm building here for Linux. I don't need to change anything here. Which version is Ubuntu 20.04? Name of the component, I'm going to write um, USG install 1.0.0. Description, I don't want to put anything here. 
I'm going to use an example, right? Because the example will make it easier for me. And this is just for the building part. So I'm going to remove the rest. I'm going to put a name here. USG and install USG, nothing more. This will install USG on Ubuntu 20.04. Um, install and instead of giving an echo here well I'm gonna remove everything here and I'm going to paste these commands all right so let me tap it okay so what I'm doing here is first tell the the execution script to wait until everything of the initialization process of the instance is finished. Why? Because when you are booting up an Ubuntu Pro server, uh, during boot, um, there is a tool that runs internally that enables all your entitlements, which are premium repositories on, on the system. So you would like to wait for everything to finish and then run the enablement of USG, right? Uh, USG is one of the Pro features that comes on Ubuntu 20.04 right and these features are managed by ua or or a new version of it that is called pro so you could also call it like pro enabled usg it will depend on the version that this tool that you're running and then here we're gonna call the actual installation of this because this command here will enable the repositories containing usg tool and other things and this will actually install it okay and that's it with this component. Then the second component that I'm gonna I'm going to create. This takes a while to update. Okay, this is there. And the second component is also for building um, for Ubuntu 20, 20.04 If we want to be specific, um, this one's um, this one run the USG fix. Okay, you will see in the next example. So I'm taking again the same example and this is runs USG, USG fix. Okay. This runs USG fix against CIS level one server. Okay. USG fix again, USG, okay, whatever, right? I mean, okay. And this is quite simple. This is one com single command that is enough, right? So you, you are calling USG, you are telling it to fix whatever is non-compliant non against what profile? This one, okay? You can also run USG audit on the machine and it will generate a very interesting and interactive HTML file that you can see for each of the rules and, and see what, what is compliant and what is not. So the fix is also doing the audit first and then it will try to automatically configure and fix whatever is non-compliant. Okay, and um, that's it with this component. I have somewhere an error name of the component yes yes this is usg fix again all right done and then i need a third component because now i have uh if i launch this pipeline this will create an ami with cis hardened image but every server launched from this image will contain the same machine id so they will be like clones this can create eventually problems not working problems certificate problems if every machine has or shares the same machine id so this is the last step for like cleaning up let's say and allowing uh, machines to to launch clean so clean clean up we're going to say clean up just like that no validation, no testing, and the command, I'm going to paste it here, so just here, and fix a little bit the format. So 
now you can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to clear Ubuntu Advantage log, which is the log that contains the information when you launch the machine, the, the machine used for building this AMI and, and you want to clear the logs. If you don't put this, it's not a problem. But these ones are, are, are important, machine ID. And here, uh, we end up. Clean up. All right, and that's it. Okay. Every time that you create a machine image, an AMI in AWS, don't forget to use this. Okay. Um, this is a common practice, and sometimes we forget to, to apply it, and, and it creates problems in the future. Okay. Let's wait to have it listed here. Okay, USG fix, clean up, USG install, and we are done. We are going to we are going back to our pipeline um, now that I have the components owned by me. I will add them all. And the so we know that first we install, then we fix, then we clean up, and that's it. Testing component, I'm not going to add anything since it's optional, but you should test, for example, whether the machine boots or you can test again custom uh, metrics. You could also audit your machine whether it, it is compliant or not. Um, and that's it. Next. So we're leaving everything by default for, for building the image. And then I'm creating the pipeline. Okay, cool. Now that I have this pipeline, um, I can schedule it to work automatically or I will run it just now. All right, and that's it. We will just wait. We can see the information here. We, we see that it's pending. It is going to take like 20 minutes more or less. So I'm going to pause the video for the sake of time and I will show to you then the results. All right, so now you can see that uh, it finished, it's, it is available. If we can open it, you can see even that we have the AMI number, the ID, sorry. Um, and that's it, you can use this AMI ID for getting the latest uh, Ubuntu CS hardening. You can schedule this uh, pipeline to run every, every period that you like and get always the latest AMI with everything installed and hardened with uh, CS standard. Um, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.